What's up everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Just Saying We got Esther joining us today and we will be talking about... So before we start this episode, I would like to introduce you guys to Esther who is also one of our cast members uh, As you can tell, she is pregnant so she didn't join us the previous time because she is pregnant <laughs> and today, we are going to be talking about the experience of delivering a child Yeah Which we have no experience of by JN Esther does yeah. Esther does, okay yeah, Three times yeah. deliver a child Three times Actually, I didn't, I didn't give birth yeah, to my vagina I huh? gave birth to Oh, oh your lord, yeah. I thought you were going to say like anus or what <laughs> <laughs> oh, You obviously felt biology I didn't even yeah. take biology, oh, normal technical no But I know how people give birth Good job To the anus Yes <laughs> no man. <laughs> you chose. Okay, so Esther has been delivering. Has been delivering. Oh. <laughs> Esther has uh-huh, delivered. Say, oh. you, you know that like when you when when you give birth, like the doctor will cut your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like so that the baby can come out. <laughs> yes. more. It's called a episiotomy or something. Yeah. So sometimes they cut all the way to the. What? what? No, you know why? Because if they don't cut it right, it tears. Yeah, it tears. It like, it tear as the baby's head is coming out, right? Then it goes like... Ooh. And if they don't cut it, don't then the tear will just be like zigzag. Oh my god, you cannot talk about this because I can feel it. So wait, it, they cut all the way to the ass. Sometimes, oh. like if they... Yeah, Depends how big your is it's la. It's quite short to lick their baby inside. Wait! It's <laughs> <That's> a sensitive <laughs> area. So only thing I can think of, starfish. So okay, so Esther, you delivered two child, two children, <laughs> yes. two babies. Which one was more painful? The first one or the second one? Second. Why? Oh, is it? I don't know why. Oh. I think maybe because the first one I was very high. Like on laughing. Gas. Epidural man! I see. Yeah, I think yeah, that the ball. Then what did you? Um, laughing gas and just normal like painkiller gem. How come you didn't want to get uh, epidural? Epidural. Because the first time I was very young. So epidural was like extra, I think $400. So I'm oh, like, no f- it, I'm mm-hmm. gonna do this raw. I'm just gonna go. Was and the yeah, pain worth $400? The, the first one wasn't pain at all. I was like, eh, actually this wasn't so bad. Maybe but because you were younger, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So but then, it's f***ing... The tolerance is softer. Okay, what was in your mind? <laughs> <like? laughs> the baby come out. So what was, on your, your, what was on your mind like right before you push? I didn't really know what to expect also, but I know like our bodies are made to do this. So just go in here. Wow, that's yeah. very good. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but I think I was very young, yeah. one, so yeah. 19, so, you were 19, right? Yeah. yeah, but the second one was damn painful. Like, you watch Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that. I was like, oh. <laughs> But what Wait. was the difference? What was the challenge with the How second one? I don't know. Maybe like Megan's head was bigger or something. It was damn pain. But they did cut it like, a bit. How long were you in labor? Uh, I was in labor for like two hours. The second one. Eh, no, first one. Then second one. Short. Yeah, second one was one and a half hours. Active labor. So it's very fast. Yeah. Not so wait, wait. Active then, labor means you like like constantly the, pushing out. Yeah, the, the pushing for one and a half. Hours. Yeah, so not short. not constantly pushing out. The super like pain really contraction. My mom was in our labor for like twelve hours. Yeah. But like I was you? with, I had contractions Zero. for like, like I, oh yeah, I just, but the day that I had it right, I had um, I had contractions the whole day, and I didn't even know because I thought that they were like fake, or I didn't like realize it because everyone says it's more painful than cramps. Yeah. But it's wrong, mm-hmm. like cramps is actually way more painful. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh whatever, this is chill. Then I went to the doctor, then the doctor was like, oh you're liver. Then I was like, oh okay, cool. I want to push it out, so I got sick. Why, why, why didn't you want to push it out though? You scared? So scary. Huh? You scared? I just didn't want to. I want to keep everything tight. Nice push. But it will go back. It will so go back, big. right? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm proud of my vagina. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want the baby to like I would come out like. like the same. Yeah, yeah. So when you when they cut, right? Yeah. You can see them cutting. No, you are you're sleeping. That like I was. They knocked me out. Then when I woke up, they were like a baby. Then you got baby in your hand. Like, it was the. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. But there's but like, a, there are a few different types, right? So there's some where you're awake. Yeah. Some where you're asleep. So you got no like skin to skin, lah. I had. When, when you woke up, la. yeah, woke so up. does that count? I don't know. It was skin to skin, skin to skin. I don't know. Yeah. Doctor, when, what? Oh, well, well, I'm judging for movies. La. After they push out, they always like carry the one with oh, no, like no, yellow no, no, all no, no, around. No, no, no. But does that actually sure. happen? Like when they push out and then they give it to you yeah, straight? Yeah, No, they'll wipe. Eh? They'll wrap. Wrap the baby first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And clean the blood. Did you eat your placenta? This is very good for your skin. It's very good for your skin. It's like eating your own sperm. What the f***? 
Yeah, but you can make it your pills. No, but I you know. know how animals do that too, right? It's like yeah, part of did. like how they work. You how think placentas? Yeah. yeah. It's animals. regenerative, yeah. I think. Okay lah, then let the animals do lah. <laughs> <laughs> we also came from Why are you selling animals? me placentas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it's natural thing. Wait, wait, the placenta is from where one? It's from it's your, from your womb. womb. Yeah. Okay. Then you convert it into like So pills. it will come out. It's a really big thing in like LA. Then you eat the pills. Oh, yeah, I, I heard it's good for skin. Yeah. Like good for your health. But you eat it right away when it comes No out. la. I don't know how it works. You can either like, like boil it, I think. Like this so, or dry it. Yeah. But how does it do like? Good yeah, it's good. It's great. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just oh, wait. So how many pills can I make out of this? A many lah. Just one month's worth. But it's stem cell. Yeah. 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 Oh, one hot shit one. No, we sent oh, it to the stem cell. Oh. Okay, okay. I have a question. Since you had two babies, right? Were both your babies like the they they come out the right side? Okay. Yeah, oh. they did. Oh, but but Kylie was vacuumed out. Yeah, to vacuum her out. Why? I think because I was too high. Then I was too weak to push. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Also, oh, there is yeah. a, there is that solution or like plan B if you cannot push out. Dyson lah, B10. Yeah. <laughs> B11 the now, doctor. okay. My son! Yeah, <laughs> 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 Actually, it's not as like scary as it sounds. It's just this round thing, right? Then you put on top of the baby head. You pump pump a bit, then you pull out. Also, oh, to just catch like, yeah, it and pull out. Oh, yeah, oh just okay, pull. okay. But then she came out a bit cone head. Oh, uh, that's so okay, very cute. Oh, but you can wear a helmet, right? You know, babies hey, wear yeah, helmets yeah. to make their head round. Yeah, really I think like if some baby their skull not forming yeah. well, then you have to wear that helmet. But now so, it's for sex. The barbecue one. <laughs> I mean, it's baby cute. Like, but, yeah. Did you ever want to get a baby? I always want to have babies, but after hearing this like pregnancy and giving birth is very scary. Eh? <laughs> after you see the afterbirth. Right? Yeah, I'm like, what? Oh. What if your baby ugly? You scared your baby ugly, no? Yeah, honestly, I'm scared. No, your baby will be cute, man. I also very scared my baby ugly. Yeah, they say two, baby got two, be- two beautiful, beautiful people who produce ugly baby. You know, like that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. That that's why you keep dating ugly men, no, lah. <laughs> so in case I'm pregnant, my baby nice looking. She said you all will be safe, which you will be because, because you're ugly. And then? Yeah, I'm true <laughs> so 1v1. So we fine. <laughs> we got, I, know, I think if we, got, if we have a baby and the baby is a, a girl, I will look like men. <laughs> <laughs> no, but some babies who look like their fathers. Sorry, what am I saying? Some girls who look like their fathers can so you be look very like, good looking. You don't show us any way, yeah? Obviously. So as in, every, every time I watch movies, like they'll be doing something <laughs> and then suddenly your water breaks. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So does that happen? For mine, not so drama. Actually, I don't think it's so drama. Like, okay, talk like, us through feel, what happened. You'll feel the contraction, so you know it's coming with it. And then, like, when you feel the contraction, you can feel like you want to pass motion. Like, when Belly, do you feel that? No man, it felt normal. <laughs> it was just like stomach cramps. What's going on? Yeah, but it was then like painful. Oh, just okay. chill. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chill. The starting contraction is not so painful, but you feel this like pressure, like you need to, but you cannot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Then, then after that, like. That was my, my first one lah. Then after I went to check up the next day, then I, the doctor said I was in labour already. So he broke my water bag then. Oh, yeah. oh so the water bag didn't burst? Okay. Did oh, yeah, how do you broke. break a water bag? Oh, it's uh. like this plastic thing yeah. <laughs> then legit. <laughs> you put obviously inside, feel. <laughs> put inside your vagina. Oh, you you're in labour right? And you so put your invasive. fingers in your vagina. You can feel sh- like you can literally feel like the top oh, of the baby really? yeah. Wait, you oh do, you do Wait, you do that? So no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. How you know? I'm not interested. I just read it. So you like, okay. I read it. I if you are in labor, then you put your fingers up. Then you can feel like your child's scalp. Sometimes. Or like some, then you, you style, feel some, some Then you style his hair. So when he come out, like, you I, I can't remember what it was. But they told me like, you can put your fingers up and you can feel like the opening and yeah. you can feel like some soft thing there. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure if that's supposed to be the head or the water oh, bag. Where's something? I was like, hell no. Yeah, don't shoot lah. Okay, okay, then, 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 you're like, ah, f*** me, ah, so then the, you go, and then the doctor says, no, but not labor. pain yet, but not pain yet, so you broke, then, then after that, go to the hospital. So how do you decide that the baby, like, you feel like the baby's gonna come out, that like, you're feeling it, then you just call, like, but it might be wrong, so, la. actually, that time, I had no contractions yet, like, I didn't hmm. feel the contractions, like, not painful, like, I didn't even feel any contractions, but apparently, I already having contractions, yeah. So then, what made you go to the doctor? Like, it was a routine check. Okay, oh, but oh, but but, but oh with Megan, God. but with Megan, my water bag leaked. Oh, so like got a bit like. What were you doing when it was leaking? I was leaking. working. Okay. I was working, so I like packed up and leave. The by office, yeah. you guys. Okay, but if the baby is in your womb, then it's like. Huh? The baby can in your womb. I yeah. think it goes like out, fire somewhere. I but don't they know. don't. 
But if they sh** it's dangerous for Did the baby. Do you know that or not? It's an FDUT. You know that the baby, the baby needs to eat, right? No, yeah, but it's not eating that shit! No, I said no, the, the baby don't, but the baby needs to eat, right? Then of course it needs to go out, what? Somewhere? No, oh. no, but they don't, they don't, they pee on me. But the if they sh** it, they sh** the womb, then it's dangerous. So that baby. means like their so digestive what do you do? track is bad, is it? Or like, why, why is she thinking that? Because it's toxic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, also but in a way, they are like to... sleeping in their right. <laughs> Need a doctor. Doctor? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need a doctor in this. Yeah. So, what do you do if the baby shits in the womb? Like, I think that they have to like induce labor. Oh, like, induce labor. Get the baby oh, out. Wow. Yeah. But it's usually towards the end. Ooh, okay, okay. okay, but then my so so if today my wife is pregnant, right? What day I pointed? My wife is mm. pregnant. Then how do I know if like oh it's gonna go into labor if she doesn't have contractions? After that, your doctor checkups is weekly, already, right? So, so like one day she say like ah suddenly pain, pain, pain. So it's quite possible if you miss your doctor's appointment to like poop your baby out. You know some people, so you can do that. Like because you don't feel pain, right? Then you read on the news like. Oh, I had a child. Didn't know I was pregnant for nine months. Oh my yeah. god, I love that show. Does yeah. anyone else watch? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, I, didn't I didn't know, know I was pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. And all what? of a sudden, they'll be in the toilet and they'll be like, I, <laughs> my, I thought I was going to <laughs> And then a baby came out and yeah. then they'll be like, <laughs> Okay, okay, then, then, then you <laughs> switch you <laughs> yeah. complete her story. So then you're okay. like, Ah, ah, pain and the doctor cried water back then. then like, I, what was going through your head? Like, I need to give birth now. Then I guess go to a labor. Then, like, okay, I'm going to give birth soon. Then I'm going to do it. Then let's do it. Lah. But Shane was panicking. He's like, you cannot, you cannot. But I wasn't feeling any pain or anything. But were you excited? She was high. She yeah. said this many times. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I said, like, I want to know, know like, you know, if today, if today I, I think yeah. it, felt, it felt very surreal. Like, yeah. okay, this is really happening. So then they put you on the chair, and then they say, lift up your legs. I want to know the whole not process. Assume, can you just let yeah. me tell the story? So then okay. They, okay, so my hospital, my clinic was at Glen E, but then Ooh. I went to Mount Alvernia to. Give birth. So then I, I, cause like that time we were very young, right? No kind of dancing. So I had to take a cab from Glen E to Mount Alvernia to give How they don't send you, you there? No. In the ambulance? No. The f- <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because the ambulance is very expensive. So then I, when after that, like the contraction started getting stronger, uh, then they check. We inside and check, like, well, how, how many CM dilated? <laughs> Are you? Before that, they make you sh- first. They make you eat medicine to sh- so that you oh. won't sh- when you're pushing. Interesting, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. But I peed with like my second run. Mm. I peed when I was pushing. Oh. Like, oh, it's squirting. Okay, then Shay was in the room. La. Yeah. Ooh, I don't want to be in the room. Sarah. Would you not Why? be in the room? Why? It's scary. Are you oh, sure? Wait, but, you, but you have to be yeah. there for your wife emotionally. Yeah. Just f- pushing your la. baby out because of your f- like. Yeah, because of your sperm. <laughs> Take the tripod, put my phone, FaceTime. Would you stand on the downside or on the upside? Or is there no choice? Honestly, I feel like... My, oh. my husband didn't, didn't like stand in front and I think I don't want him to also. Oh. Like, oh. Or in front as in like facing your vagina. Yeah, oh. I heard of some guys like they traumatise after that. Like they see the baby come out then yeah. they Men don't want to so have cold, sex though. with their wife anymore. Huh. I know I know how that... It makes sense though. Yeah, like, what? Yeah. why? I know, but I just don't want to see lah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Then all the blood... Like, I, only I vaginas know I don't can like, only be sexualized. Like you know when... Newborn babies come out and then they're cancelled, man. Cancelled. No. Cancelled. What, what you all say? <laughs> Vaginas are not only sexual beings, but maternal beings. Cancelled. What did you feel when like they passed you the baby? I was still high. So oh, I was like, oh, are you cute? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I thought it was Whitney Houston. You th- I don't know why. You thought your baby was no, I was with oh. you. So I don't know why. So I remember I was singing like I will always love you. Oh. And like no no but to a stadium. Oh. <laughs> so, like, so like they passed you and you just no. ran. I was like, I woke up like and then like they were leading me out of the like yeah. um room downstairs to my like very nice maternity room right. And I was like yes hi according to everyone. Like, like, should stay. <laughs> were you holding your baby at this point? No, no, no not yet. <laughs> Still holding. I, I do that every time, like every time I have like any surgery, anytime I have any like dental surgery or I'm doing like plastic surgery, right? I always like I don't know why, I always feel like I'm Whitney Houston. And I always sing the same song, which is I will always love you, it's very weird. But oh. was it painful or not? Like Uh no, because you're sleeping. After that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you shouldn't talk or sing after that. Because <laughs> they will hurt like when you like laugh, talk, sing quietly. So no sky or? No sky, I can just get Alright, oh, how long does it take to heal though if you don't? It takes about 3 months and then you can just get it removed. So will you go through again? <laughs> will you be yeah, pregnant yeah. again? Yeah, for sure. How many more babies? Uh, I want a nice tree. 
Okay. So it's a good number, right? Yeah, right, it's right, a good number. Okay. If you plan lah. Four. Four? How many do you want? <laughs> How many do you already have? Oh, you don't want kids, do you? You want kids. Oh, no, I feel like if I'm, I'm very rich, then sure I have kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If I'm running like Tesla, then yeah. sure I have kids. Come my I kids have like need to run. kids. You know he has like six kids or five kids? Yeah, great lah. Because he got space. Yeah, we all have a good life lah. Yeah. I don't understand when people say like, oh, I want to have kids so they can carry on my like legacy. The right. F- right. legacy you have. Oh my god, relax. You can have a legacy too. Yeah. yeah. And not now lah. Yeah, not now. Yeah. In the future. After butter chicken, then you have a legacy for your oh, little baby. Oh yeah. Sell the new butter, butter chicken name. Yeah, can I tell them the contact? Okay, can yeah, I tell nah. them a bit? Yeah. So, so open butter chicken. Drink. Yes. So last night he called me drunk. <laughs> like I was like messaging him about something <laughs> totally unrelated about today, and he's like, "Babe, I call you in one minute." So I was like, "Okay." So he called me. <laughs> he's like, "You wanna sell butter chicken?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you drunk? He's like, no. But why butter chicken? It's exactly it, whatever. Doesn't matter. He was just drunk. Stay tuned. Muna, how many kids do you want to have? Mm, I think one or two. Why? Just why because I feel like it's a nice number. I always thought one, but then I oh, thought like, oh yeah, maybe one a friend. So like two. One a friend. Yeah, that's a nice yeah, number. Yeah, yeah. Ah, friend. Yeah. Usually a single child, like, always something wrong. Eh. Like you. <laughs> But yeah, so like I always thought like I didn't want, I, I had a point of time where I hated kids. Like every time the child around me, I'd be like, me. <laughs> children. Yeah. No. And then after that, like for some reason, like when you hate things, right, they will just gravitate towards you. So every time I'm around kids, they will like, yeah, they will come to me. Then I'm like, but you do have a maternal face, like quite a mummy face. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Okay, okay, then after that, like when I was open to like, okay, maybe like I'll see why do they gravitate towards me and I played with them and I was like, okay, they're not so bad. And then I was in a phase where I'm like, I don't mind kids. And then like one year, I was just like, I need a baby. It's <laughs> crazy. I don't know if you've ever felt that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, every- <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. we had this conversation yeah, in the group chat, right? In the group chat, yeah. But like, it's so real. So I want to know whether like you've ever felt it or you've ever felt it. Like you wake up one day and like there's this like churn in your this area and like you're like, I need a baby now. Like, I always say that. Then you got caught up on I need a baby. I want no, your son. No, no, no. This is I not know even... the load in me. Okay, <laughs> it's not even sexual though. It's really like I want to have a child to raise yeah, and to see. love. But why? Why? You don't know why lah. I don't know why. I just then why didn't you have one? Like okay, I was I was kind of seeing somebody and it got to a point where like I obsessed over it and then like if we cuddle, I'd be like, imagine baby will be here. Yes! <laughs> Were you, were you guys even together? Was the guy like, we were dating? Like he was also open to it. Aww. So I was like, okay, maybe like if I'm serious about this, I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna have a baby. But like, thankfully, he got, he got, I realized my priorities are not to have a child now. If I do like have a child, you know, I wouldn't be able to give it the right attention that it needs. Yeah. So I like, don't think you'll ever be well ready time. to be a mother, lah. Nobody is lah. She was a mother at nineteen, eh. Oh, that's very young. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Do you? Uh, still give her some advice. Yeah. Just go on. How do you know? How do you know if you're ready? I don't That's know, you're asking me. Yeah. Okay, la, but like, I think like you and your partner are on the same level. You guys know you want this. And then like, financially, I think. Yeah, like, that's stable. also very important. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think like, that to me is the most important. Mm-hmm. Do you ever yeah. wonder like what your life would be if you didn't have kids? Yeah, I think mm. I'll be very wild. <laughs> yeah. Young, wild, and free. Name oh, fun fact okay. I was shotgun. Oh. Yeah, my mom was shotgun. Shotgun me. Mm-hmm. Then I asked her why I never bought. Because she was 28. So I know I only had baby. So Aww. yeah. Yeah, same. But how do you feel though when you. If I was her, I would have bought. But as the <laughs> shotgun child. Oh, okay. Feel? No diff lah. You mean she raised me, so it was fine. I think it depends on the kind of family. Depends on the family. Into, yeah. yeah. My mom my mom only got married because the grand my grandparents told to get married. Mm. If not, I'll be a bastard child. Right. <laughs> yes. But your wait, but your stitches don't hurt at all, man. My stitches down there hurt like. I didn't have stitches down there. I only had here. Yeah, so like they sound not pain. You know, I had to sit on a float. Oh, to like oh, keep really? it, keep it cool and. No, cause oh, like I couldn't no. sit on it. But I know I kind of know how you feel, cause I fell on my. Before. <laughs> <laughs> how does that happen? Yeah, how do you fall on your? <laughs> I was doing a workout by the pool and then on the ledge, <laughs> I fell like that. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't no, think yeah. that's similar yeah, to giving birth. Yeah. No, but it's. But it's Painful man, I can't even if Hit I the sued, f- bone or the f- like yeah. the lips, it ah. swell up and it turn black. Oh, what the f- yeah, so like I can't understand how you felt. So whereas if I stood up right, I could feel the blood rush down. Ooh. So I couldn't walk for like a week. I think this is more painful. Like, it's, it's, it's f- 
painful. Like, yeah, oh it was then painful. Then I had to put ice and everything. Yeah, how long after giving birth that you can fuck you? Immediately. Still intact, right? Nice. Yeah, you're gonna say yeah. you can have sex immediately. If you can like take the pain. Eh, hey, but do you, you the couple bleed? of days? You what? Don't bleed. Yeah, you bleed. You bleed for that month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So C-sec, you still. Yeah, you, 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 you still bleed. Like all the internal stuff, like yeah, coming out. You bleed for one month. Why they do it? They cut you open, just take out and throw lah. What am I? No, oh, like take out from the way. inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like grab. Work that way. <laughs> yeah. You grab up. Everything is not used. Eh? I cut you open, I take out. Yeah, yeah but, but take out and I think down. everything inside just slowly breaks down. The things that you don't need anymore lah. Yeah. Yeah. So when you bleed, you bleed what? Just normal blood lah. Got no chunks or shit lah. After Same. my second one, about right? Pregnancy. Then, <laughs> uh, like the nurse will bring you go to the toilet to try and pass you know right? Then. I kept feeling contractions even after I gave birth. So when I went to the toilet, then pulled down my pants, then this like super giant like the placenta like that black clot just gushed out. Oh, oh wow! Like an organ. Then I, black, I blacked out. You blacked out! Oh, oh my god! god. Blood, yeah, it? black rash. Yeah, then I blacked out. Like, oh, are you excited, excited for the next one? Two more months. I hope it's not pain. Why don't you just get epidural? I pay, I pay. It's four hundred dollars. <laughs> but like, it's like, yeah, uh, first one, second one, no epidural already. Uh, third one, I can do it. It's four hundred dollars. Your pain tolerance must be very, very yeah, high. Yeah, quite high. And my labor usually quite fast. Mimi's here. The next time I see you, you're gonna be just Jerry. D. Are you excited? Mm. Yeah. I don't know why I suddenly feel nervous. So anyway, no contractions yet. Doctor just burst my water bag. <laughs> I'm like 4 cm dilated already. Are we ready? Lifesaver. <laughs> Lifesaver is here. With Kylie, I got so high on this. Even after. Yeah, the sound will make him quite high. Yeah. Even after yeah. birth, I felt like I was floating. JJ, relax. You can see the girl. Fresh air, fresh air. Fresh air. Mabu. Mabu, ready? Baby. I am so high. What? Right? So high. My face is numb. So high from the gas. <sighs> I've seen pictures on Facebook where they do like natural birth like in a home tub. Yeah. That really scares me. Eh. Yeah. Would you ever try that? No, actually I think childbirth very dangerous. Yeah. Water yeah. birth. Ah. Yeah, so like they come on, we can't do so schooling. Ciao. <laughs> the baby come out. <laughs> <laughs> do you all try anything to predetermine the gender? Oh, yeah. Oh, like feng shui. Gender is a social construct. Okay. It's 2020. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. No, I didn't even know that I was going to have a baby. Oh, oh my gosh. It? But can I tell you this really weird thing? Okay, so like, I, you know, I believe in the list, like, non. This butter and stuff, right? Yeah. So butter okay. is like your Fung birth calculator. Chinese astrology. So the lady already told me that I was gonna get pregnant this year, and it was gonna be a boy. And I got pregnant, and it was a boy. Can so I kind of already number. knew. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But yeah. I already so knew like, it was gonna be a boy. And then the next one is gonna be a girl, so we can see how accurate. Mm. When then? I'm supposed to have a girl next year. <gasps> That's why I'm gonna click side. <laughs> so you want or the one? Not yet. I want Slowly to be 27. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, but then if I so if I wait, so there's like if you have a child this year, it's gonna be girl or boy. If you have a child uh. this year, it's gonna be girl or boy. Oh, and like okay. they can give you a chart. So I'm gonna wait until I'm 27. And they have. You are 25 now. Two more years, lah. Two more years. Oh. But what will you name your kid? I haven't thought about it yet. Yeah. Almost not white name, lah. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully my last after another spice, cinnamon. Berry. Cinnamon yeah. is star and rosemary. Star <laughs> is funny. I if think it, if they take your last name, then it's funny. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna name my child a funny. Please. It's not funny. It's, it's not cute. Yeah. Saffron. Cute. Star <laughs> then star anise, binti saffron. Or bin oh, saffron. Yeah, I will, no, it will be bin. Bin, 
you. you Come on, it's 2020. It can be Ben Saffron. I mean, yeah. they, they can take like like sharp as the surname also. Ben sharp. Oh, yeah. Ben sharp. You name him very sharp. Very sharp. <laughs> Oh, oh, not uh, C Bay. C Bay Sharp. Very bin sharp. Not bad, not bad. I'll think about that. Keep it. So, if we come to the end of this episode, I hope you guys liked it. Jade decided to surprise us with her child. Yes. Baby, please say oh. bye to the camera for us. Say bye bye. Blow my kiss. <laughs>